Hi everyone, hope everyone is doing fine today. Here is Abdul and today we have another unboxing. And this time, maybe you know it from the box, we have a Hanhart again. So the last time I got the Silva for a couple of weeks, tried it out. Um, it was a good watch. I had some, some, some uh, let's say, uh, stuff that I would have changed about it. But what I love about Hanhart is not uh, three-handed watches from Hanhart. What I love about Hanhart is the chronographs. And I asked them uh, to lend me out a uh, chronograph to test out as well. And they were kind enough to send this one for me to test out for the next couple of weeks. And uh, yeah, here is the famous Hanhart leather pouch. And we have the Hanhart tacky telly with a metal bracelet wow looks very nice feels also very nice the strap looks very nice yeah. let's get down to peeling the watch where to start i don't like to take out the let's say to cut this plastic part uh, because it's you just have to find this Yes, this part and just try to peel it exactly like this. Then you get one big sheet of plastic that you can reuse when I'm bringing the watch back. And we have a really nice bracelet. I'm usually not a fan from bracelets, but this one reminds me of the Sin uh, 356 bracelet, uh, which I sold. And, it sh I, and I really like the bracelet. The only issue that I have is the micro adjustment because you cannot have a micro adjustment and as I can see here we have the same issue and uh, yeah but let's see maybe I will be able to adjust it so first off let me take all the stickers off yeah okay I'll leave the bracelet till the end so we have the famous red bezel the bi-directional bezel with the red dot from Hanhart and the chronograph red button so we have a mechanical movement the hand three so h a n three seven zero three which is based on the eta uh, seven seven fifty three or not based is using a base of a seven seven fifty three uh, thirty fifty three sorry and as we can see we have a sixty minute uh, sorry, 30 minute countdown, uh, running seconds, 60 minutes, 60 seconds, I'm sorry. And um, yeah, stainless steel. Let's see the dimensions. 40 millimeters in diameter. We have 50 lug to lug. And we have a 15 millimeters in thickness. We have a convex, as you can see, convex. Uh, sapphire crystal with super luminova on the hands and the indices as you saw and as you can see now we have the red button which is ah sorry <laughs> the red button is for restart so the upper button is to start and then you can stop restart start have to wind it because the chronograph um, function requires a lot of uh, let's say power so as you can see the dial has two uh, additional uh, scales it has the telemeter scale and the tachymeter scale and this i will be explaining also in the review on the back side, on the case back, you have the Hanhart Pioneer Tacky Tally, made in Germany, 10 Atmos, so the watch is uh, water resistant to 100 meters. So if you wanted to, to go swimming with this watch, uh, would be any problem. So let me put on the strap and size it to my wrist and put it on my wrist and uh, maybe I'll even... Nah, I'll try the strap for uh, the bracelet at least for today and then I'll see if I put it on a NATO or not. Be right back. 
So I put the spring bar uh, that was supplied on the bracelet and here we go, but I think it would be too big, too large on my wrist. Yeah, I need to take a couple of, I think, yeah, at least four, so two from each side. But it looks really nice. I really like it. I'm really excited about uh, taking the extra links out and looking on how it feels on my wrist later on. So... If you um, have any questions about this watch or any other watch, please leave them in the comment section. And this is an invitation to like, subscribe, hit the bell button. And let me know, uh, do you like uh, me doing a lot of these, um, let's say, borrowing watches from companies, reviewing them? I try to, um, let's say, review the watches that you can hardly find any reviews for. And sometimes um, I'm, I'm late to the trend, like the for the value, uh, for instance. Um, but sometimes I just uh, like some watches, buy them or try to get them for review. So I test them out for a couple of weeks and send them back. And I have a very good, uh, uh, let's say, relationship with Hanhart. Uh, really uh, great guys from Han uh, Really, um, They're really cool. And um, they're not far away from where I live as well. So basically like a hometown uh, watch and I'm definitely would be buying a Hanhart in 2024. I'm just not sure which one. So that's why I'm trying to try as many models as possible. So I am able to decide for myself which model will I, try, will I buy uh, for myself. So there you have it. I'll uh, leave then sizing the bracelet and everything else um to later on and then my full review will be up maybe in a month or so after i wear it at least for a couple of weeks of um in uninterrupted wearing so i get the whole feel about ownership and and let's say the simulation of the first week where you have this oh everything is perfect and then the second week when you're trying to get everything that you don't like about the watch as well so let me know in the comment section if you have any questions and see you in the next one. Bye bye everybody.